Install the Contour plugin in the Illustrator Plugins folder, Adobe Illustrator CS5 Plugins folder. Right, start it up Illustrator. Now there's a path selected there, it's got a fill and a stroke. So Object, Filters, AVP Path and Contour. For CS5 all the plugins are in the Object menu or in the uh, toolbox, but the Contour plugin is in the Object menu. Now you can change the number of contours by clicking on the Contours control. Also by holding down the shift and uh, clicking the little button on the side you can actually interactively change the number of contours. So now I'm changing the scale of the contours. Just go, You can go from uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and you can also go minus so the actual contours will go outset from the original path. Now of course it could be any other path. I mean I've selected here a square path just to demonstrate. It could be a, obviously a circular design, star design or any other kind of path. And it also could be text as well. Converted text that is. It's not actually, you have to outline text. Right, so contour. Uh, you can actually link the contour scale. So that's the default. But you can deselect that. And then you can say put minus 5 for the... And then for vertical you can put minus 10, minus 11. Just I'm just doing there. Increase, changing the size again. So I'm just linking it again so they're both the same. Increasing the number of contours again. Uh, the skip and create actually removes paths from the thing. So you can actually like create a one path and then two paths and maybe have separation of two paths and then another two paths are created. So there's actually two paths are sort of deleted. So you can create sort of more interesting pyramid designs using that. You can make a variety of designs using that. Now there's also, I've just really been showing you the default contour designs. It's that there actually is a contour drop down, so you can actually accumulate the contour sort of scale. You can half the contour scale, you can sort of make them all crunched up very close to each other, you can randomize them, you can, uh, yeah, you can make a sort of more intense pyramid contour design. There's a number of uh, scale options. Some create interesting designs. You can create like that. Let's say intense designs the other way around, so you have more flattened plateau effect. You can also scale the lines, so you can actually say the first line is one point, and then sort of the scale can be modified, and that relates to the line width as well or weight. There's more scale options again, just showing you various different scale options. That's randomized, so you can. So the actual distances from uh, for each of the scaled contours is slightly different. Now, this is rotation section, so now you can actually rotate the the pass. And again, there's, there's a drop down for the uh, different types of. Uh, location of the path center so you can actually uh, they use the supply path you can actually if you've got multiple paths selected so you can actually it will actually rotate around that single path uh, you've got document center that's uh, obviously right over the side in the the actual document center you can also put your own user supply one so you can actually set the center of rotation to be say 100 pixel minus 200 and so on and so on. You can create a variety of different uh, rotation effects using that. This is the shift, so you can shift the path over backwards and forwards. Again you can use the interactive shift controls by holding down the shift key and uh, using those little buttons on the side. Again there's also various variety of options like you can accumulate the shift, so that sort of makes them far greater distance. You can randomize the shift and all those sort of things. So you can see it sort of randomly jitters as you uh, move the, uh, change the control. The style dialog controls the color and the stroke and the width and also there's a pattern section as well, so you can make like random colours for each of the paths, random swatches, so whatever's in the swatches palette can be used. Uh, you can also uh, change the location of the midpoint of the... Uh, 
change the color so you can sort of make it all white or and then you go through the swatches that's the swatch side bit so you basically select the swatches the swatches are in order uh, and in the swatches palette again you can change the uh, intensity of the uh, the end point of the color well, that's for the stroke there's no stroke obviously or no fill that there would be no uh, change to that but uh, so uh, random colors you notice there the stroke has actually got different colors width you can change the uh, width so you can make the lines thicker accumulate now make them obviously you can just see it now accumulate the uh, stroke width and the pattern actually this uses various uh, so you can sort of create multiple copies and they're, and they're actually sort of mirrored around the center of the document or mirrored around the actual path center and those sort of things again useful when you've got that shift there you can shift backwards and forwards different designs you can shift upwards up and down there's a selection of uh, different settings so you can flip the pass you can change the opacity make that randomized so you can sort of create sort of blurry sort of uh, contours and you can uh, increase the number of contours again show the that creates a path or not so you can sort of make random gaps in the, the number of uh, paths are created now the point section is slightly different instead of using the scale it actually uses the sort of points the actual individual points on the path so the, so the actual distance I'm just going to go back to it in a sec So you can see actually there it's not using scale it's actually using the points themselves so basically the distance from the point the original point again there's variations like alternate angle change and they, they create different effects of of, uh, of the distance used again random with radial uh, rotation I'm just going to select a different path so demonstrate that you can actually use other paths other than just a square design Right, so go back to the object contour and I'm going to do a similar sort of thing it actually shows it in, in slightly better than the square I think because you can actually see there that there's the actual points are actually the distances from the original you can sort of rotate again create many different designs again there is a very similar sort of contour design you can uh, make uh, sort of flower designs and of course if you have more points if say if you've got 10 or 20 points in that you can create more unusual interesting designs I'm just going to quickly show you a game using a different color and here's they've got presets so you're gonna if you, if you don't want to obviously go through all the things you can actually just go through rapidly through the presets but they just basically change the the various settings there's like random sort of skipping pass creating a pass color of pass it's a whole range also you can click tumble and shuffle tumble actually randomizes all the settings shuffle just randomizes the actual if there are any random elements in the uh, thing so it doesn't actually change any of the settings themselves so I'm just increasing you can create sort of three-dimensional looking objects very quickly yeah that's basically it that's the contour from graphicextras.com it's a illustrator plugin for CS5 CS4 etc CS3 and others on PC and Mac install the contour plugin in the illustrator plugins folder